Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another van life video. Today I'm going to show you the first three modifications that we're doing to this van that I've just purchased. The first modification is going to be some blind spot mirrors. I've already done a video on blind spot mirrors. Now on my other van I used a smaller one, so just were little small round ones like that. And look, they work really well, and they're still on the van, and they're still doing their blind spot mirror thing. However, I have always wished that I had gotten the bigger ones. Now, these are the larger size, like the truck size. And since this new van is a truck size van, I did end up buying these ones. So I think they were about $12 or something like that. And I'll put the price up on the screen for you, just so you know how much I spend on these. And I bought two of these, one for each side. The van already has some very, very small blind spot mirrors here, and I'll be taking those ones off. And they'll just be gone. And then I will be replacing them with these ones on both sides. Okay, this should make driving the van a lot better and a lot safer, especially in traffic when there's other cars around and this should also help while four-wheel driving because with these you can see the whole side the whole bottom of the van so you can see any potential obstacles that you might be hitting when you're turning corners or going around bends or following four-wheel drive tracks so this is going to be the very first mod we're doing to our new van now the second mod we're doing came in this big box and I bought this off eBay and we also did this on our old van and it was one of the best things I ever did and these are the weather shields and these weather shields fit up on here and they cover that section there and they allow you to have the window open so you've got circulation inside the van even when you're parking it or when you're camping in it or especially when you're driving down the motorway okay it just gives you that little bit of cover and it makes a huge difference I really love these on my other van and I was actually going to take them off and put them on this van and then I thought by the time I mess around take them off buy new double sided tape clean everything up I'm better off just buying new ones and these are $70, or these were $70, I believe. I'll put the exact price up on the screen again, just so you know how much they are. And these were bought off eBay. And around the $70 mark, by the time I buy the tape, and then there's the risk of breaking the weather shields when I'm taking them off. So I'm just going to leave them on the other van, and the lucky new owner of my old van will have some beautiful brand new weather shields that I literally fitted a few weeks ago. Okay, so this is our second mod, weather shields. The third mod that we're doing to get started is this, LED headlight conversion. This is a Nava Surefit Generation 2 LED headlight conversion. Now it does say on here for off-road use only, and look it's a four-wheel drive van. It'll be used off-road. I'm sure that'll work. Anyway, I'm really interested to see how these work. These are in special. These were on special at the moment. And again, I'll put the price up on the screen for you, how much they normally cost, and also how much I paid for these. These are a H4 LED, and they are a direct replacement for the original H4 light bulbs in the van. There's the box there. And there's the box on the back. We will also be testing these out in this video to see how well they work. Hopefully it's a worthwhile mod, otherwise I can always go back to the original lights if I'm not happy with it. So let's get going and get these mods installed. You can see here how small the original blind spot mirrors that came on the car. So I've got a razor blade there and hopefully that'll get it off without breaking anything okay now we're just going to use some general purpose cleaner
And then to finish off, we'll use some alcohol spray. And this is just from Bunnings. Now here's our new blind spot mirror. It's got 3M tape, double sided tape on the bottom there. Okay, and there you go, job done. Just let that settle there for a little while. And now we just repeat the same process on the other side. I'm not going to film it again, you've already seen it once and it was probably boring enough for you. Now next up we'll fit the weather shields and again I'll use the alcohol to wipe any surfaces where it's going to be sticking to. Okay, here's your weather shield. So let's just confirm that it fits before we actually stick it on. And yes, it does. So we've got the 3M tape here. So we'll peel that off. Okay, make sure it really sticks on there. You don't want this flying off as you're going down the motorway. Especially after spending $80 on it. And again, that tape gets stronger the longer you leave it. Like after a little while it keeps getting more stuck, if that makes any sense. And this is the reason I didn't really want to peel the other one off. It would have been a big job and there would have been a fair chance of breaking it. So I'm just going to leave it on the other van and sell it as is. Job done. I'm pretty happy with that. And we'll just repeat this exact process on the other side. And look, like I said, I'm not going to film it again on the other side. You saw it done here. So we've got the two weather shields, one for each side, and the two blind spot mirrors, one for each side. Okay, so here's the packet of the LED lights. So let's have a look inside so you can see what they look like. And that's it there. Very interesting. It's got the standard plug on the back. And hopefully it'll just plug straight in and off we go. So let's fit these up and see how well they work. And while we've got the headlights pulled apart or we've got the headlight units taken off the van, I've also bought a set of these. They're T10 LED Parker light bulbs. So these will just replace your Parker lights and give it that nice bright white light instead of that yellow light. So we'll be fitting these at the same time. Now here's the difference between the two lights. This is the standard one, which is much more yellow. And it's a bit hard to show up on the camera. And there's the difference. And have a look at the Parker light and the headlight. Much, much different when you compare it to the other side. So you've got the LED T10 Parker bulb and the LED headlight bulb the nava that we looked at earlier and over here is the standard yellow light there you can see the difference now just to finish off the video we've installed all the things and everything works perfectly and what i'll be doing for you guys i'll be doing a completely separate video on the headlight conversion because I think it is worthwhile having a video just on that and that video will have 
actual nighttime driving before and after. I've just got to get a chance to go out there and film the after and then edit the video. So it might be a couple of weeks till that video is up, but there'll definitely be a video coming up on that. So in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful at all, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.